This is a news update for InfoLive TV, June 11th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. If U.S. forces strike Iranian nuclear facilities, Tehran will respond by triggering an all-out regional war, Iranian officials said in an interview with the Defense News Weekly. Ballistic missiles would be fired in mass against targets in the Arab Gulf states in Israel. Israel successfully launched the military spy satellite off X-7 early Monday. In the wake of the Iranian nuclear threat and a possible war with Syria this summer, the satellite will enhance Israel's defense capabilities, officials said. Six Qassam rockets were fired at Starot. No damages or injuries were reported. High school students sitting for their matriculation exams were forced to move out of rocket range to take them. An East Jerusalem Arab was arrested at the Kani crossing in northern Gaza after he was caught trying to smuggle weapons and over 6,000 bullets hidden inside a truck into Gaza. Infighting between Hamas and Fatah factions escalated in Gaza on Monday. Palestinian gunmen opened fire at the Palestinian cabinet building. No one was wounded. Earlier, gunmen opened fire at the home of Palestinian Prime Minister Ismail Haniya. A Bedouin shepherd from the Negev, who let his camels wander free, was convicted of causing the death of a driver who collided with one of them on the Beersheva Dimona Highway. High tech deals carried out last year in Israel totaled $12.47 billion, compared to approximately $3.7 billion in 2005, quadrupling investments in one of Israel's most successful industries. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, the great debate, the right to hold a gay parade in Jerusalem. the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.